Hello everybody, welcome back to video number two of my series SVGs Made Simple. My name is Jennifer Maker, founder of the Cut Above SVG Design Course and the JenniferMaker.com blog and channel. And I am so glad to be back here with you today. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get these amazing SVG files that you've found uploaded to your design software, such as Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio. But more importantly, I'm also going to show you how this training series can help you create beautiful things with your cutting machine through the magic of SVGs. In video number one, we talked about finding SVGs, which was intended to help you locate all of those awesome projects that you want to make. I also shared how this is going to immediately help you put your cutting machine to work. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it now, and then come back to this video and we'll go over how to upload. So today I'm going to build on what we've already learned by talking about getting those super cool SVG cut files into your design software. This will help you break free of the frustration of not understanding how they work and get you on track towards making things so that you can experience the beauty of a lovely home or the expression on your family's faces. We have a lot of ground to cover today, so be sure you have some paper and a pen ready to take notes and follow along. The truth is that trying to get SVG cut files uploaded can be a pretty frustrating, yeah, I would say really frustrating task. They might download into weird places, or maybe they don't even look right after you've downloaded them. Other times they don't seem to upload the way that we expect, or we can't get them uploaded at all. And if you've ever experienced one of these issues before, that is so totally normal. Even so, you can't let these frustrations stand in your way of making things. I have heard way too many stories of how people buy the latest Cricut and it just sits there unopened because either they are afraid to use it or they're stuck on something. You do not need to be afraid. You can get unstuck. It's amazing and it has the power to change your life. And I am not exaggerating at all. I am the perfect example of how it's changed a life. That's why in this video series, we're going to get super practical and talk about uploading these SVG cut files. So are you ready to dig in? Let's do this. Now let's get all of those awesome SVG files you found into your design software. I'm going to show you how to upload in different ways on a variety of devices and different design software. First, I'm gonna show you how to upload into Cricut Design Space on Windows, Mac, iPad or iPhone, and Android. Then I'll show you how to upload to Silhouette Studio. And finally, I'll show you how to upload into Sure Cuts A Lot. So let's start with a Windows computer using Cricut Design Space. Open Cricut Design Space and click on New Project, which is the big green button in the upper right corner. Now click the Upload button over on the left. On the next screen, click the Upload image. On the screen that appears next, you can do one of two things. You can either click, hold, and drag your SVG file from the file manager right into the upload area. It will turn green when the window recognizes a valid file. Just let your mouse go to start the upload process. Or you can click the browse button and use the file open window to locate and select your SVG file. Either way works. And notice this was the wrong file. Anytime you get this unsupported file type message, it almost certainly means that you uploaded the zip file instead of the SVG file. Remember, you need to extract the zip file to get the SVG file inside of it and then upload that. It's really important that you don't wanna just upload the zip file, you wanna find the decompressed version and then find the SVG inside that folder and upload that. Uh, otherwise, it just won't work and it'll tell you it's wrong. <laughs> when it's finished uploading, don't stop yet. You have one more step to save it. You need to name and tag your image so you can find it easily later. Now just click the upload button. 
Once the file is saved, you'll be back at the first upload screen and you should see your most recently uploaded file on the left. By the way, if you've ever been stumped why you don't see all of your uploaded files here, because I get this comment a lot, just click the little view all link above the images. It will show all the images you've ever uploaded. Isn't that awesome? Okay, now that you've uploaded your file, you may be wondering how to use it. Just click once on the image of your upload. You will see a green box appear around the image to indicate that you've selected it. And you'll also see a thumbnail of the image appear down at the bottom of your screen. This is so you know if you've selected more than one image. Now just click the Add to Canvas button in the bottom right corner. Be sure to give Cricut Design Space some time to load your file. Some complicated files may take longer than you expect. A sliding green bar across the top of your screen indicates that it is uploading and working. The design appears on your canvas ready to go. Now there are often several things that you need to do to SVG files, especially the more complex ones after you have uploaded them. And we will talk about that in the next video in this series. Now, let me tell you what you should not do if you are attempting to upload a file. Do not double click this file. I think this happens a lot. People think I should double click it and it will open right up into Cricut Design Space or another design software. It doesn't. Let me show you what happens when you double click it. It goes, oh, hmm, I need to open this somewhere, but there's no application associated with it. You could open it in illustration software, but most people don't have this installed yet. So you'll just see this screen instead, and it will not open in your design software, which is where you want it. So this is not what you want to do. Do not double click it. This is not useful. You also want to be careful to upload the SVG file, not the PDF or JPEG, or any other file that might be in the folder. I should also note that while DXF files are allowed in Cricut Design Space, do not open those if you have an SVG. More data is in the SVG file and you'll have a better result with it. Most designers, including myself, include the DXF file for those who have designed software that does not allow SVG files. So let me show you what happens if you try to upload the JPEG file. The JPEG file, in my case, is just a completed image of the project so that those who download this have some idea of what they're making. This will not help you make your design. We don't want this. Click cancel. And if we upload the DXF file, which is in this folder as well, the color data will be missing. I believe that also some of the other information doesn't transfer quite the same way. So this is not going to help you either. So you want the SVG file to upload through your upload image window, and that will give you the results that you're looking for. Now let me show you how uploading works in Cricut Design Space on a Mac. Open Cricut Design Space and click on New Project, which is the big green button in the upper right corner. Now click the Upload button. On the next screen, click Upload Image. On the screen that appears next, you can do one of two things. You can either drag your SVG file from the finder right into the upload area. It will turn green when the window recognizes a valid file. And then you can just let go, and the file uploads to Cricut Design Space. There is my image over here on the left, but let me show you the other way that you can upload. So we're going to cancel this. We click the Upload button. We click Upload Image. So you can click Browse and use the File Open window to locate and select your SVG file. So right here is the SVG file. And we just click this and then we click Open and it will upload. But here's a tip. If you're using the Browse button, type in SVG right here at the top and select SVG Image from the drop-down menu. And this will bring up all SVG files that you have on your computer. And I have quite a few, like a lot actually. <laughs> and this is a great way to find files you don't remember having and you want to get uploaded into Cricut Design Space or you just can't find them and it's sorted by uh, date modified, but you can also sort it in different ways. So here's the SVG I want, the Owl Shadow Box card, and then I click open. So it's now uploaded, but we're not done yet. When it's finished uploading, you don't want to stop yet. 
You have one more step before you save it to Cricut Design Space. You need to name and tag your image, then click Save. So the name is right here, and usually the default image name, which is the name that was on the file, is fine. If it's not, go ahead and change it. But down here under Tags, I recommend that you put in at least some tags, as it will help tremendously later on when you're looking for a file. Just put in some tags that will make sense to you. Now just click the Upload button. So there we go. Once the file is saved, you'll be back at the first upload screen and you should see your most recently uploaded file on the top left right here. By the way, if you've ever been stumped by why you don't see all of your uploaded images here, because I get this one a lot, just click the little view all link right there above all the images and it will show you all images that you've ever uploaded. I have over 2000 images. It's pretty nifty, eh? So you can scroll through all of them or you can search them right up here. So for example, we put in the owl. So let's search on the owl and we'll put a filter in so it's just my images. And there we go. There is the owl card that I uploaded. But you can go back and you can always see your images by going to upload at any time and then it'll show your most recent uploads and then click view all to see all of your uploads. All right, so now that you've uploaded your file, you may be wondering just how to use it. So let's go back to upload so we see our recent files. So what you should do is click once on the image of your upload. You will see a green box appear around the image to indicate you selected it. And you'll also see a thumbnail of the image appear down at the bottom of your screen. Now just click the Add to Canvas button in the bottom right corner. The design appears on your canvas, ready to go. There are often things you need to do to designs, especially more complex and amazing designs, after you upload. We'll talk about all of that in the next video. Now let me show you how to upload to an iPad or an iPhone. To upload on the iPad, just open the Cricut Design Space app, tap on New Project, then tap on the Upload button at the bottom of your window. You'll be asked where you want to upload from. If you saved your file to your Files folder, as I explained in the first video in this training series, tap on Browse Files. Your file likely went into your Downloads folder, so tap the left-facing arrow in the upper left corner of this window until you see your locations, then tap on Downloads. Scroll through this list until you find your downloaded files, which may be in a folder that you extracted from the zip file. If you want to be sure you're selecting the SVG file and not something else, press and hold the icon and a little window will appear. Tap the info option to see what kind of file it is. As you can see, this is an SVG image and this is what we want. You can now tap open and your image will upload to Cricut Design Space. So give your newly uploaded SVG image a name, something that you will remember, and then tap the green Save button in the upper right corner to save it to Cricut Design Space. The saved image appears in the upper left corner of your screen. Tap it and you'll see a green highlight appear around it to indicate that you selected it. You'll also note that a small icon appears in the lower right to indicate that it is selected. Now just tap insert to put this image on your canvas and begin working with it. And that's it. And now I want to show you how to upload on your Android device. To upload on the Android, just open Cricut Design Space, tap on new project, then tap on the upload button at the bottom of your window. You'll be asked where you want to upload an image from. If you saved your file to the My Files folder on your Android, as I explained in the first video in this training series, just tap on Select from Photo Library in this list. Your file likely went into your Downloads folder. If you don't see that Downloads folder right away, tap the three lines in the upper left corner of this window until you see your locations, then tap on Downloads to open it. Scroll through this list until you find your downloaded files, which may be in a folder that you extracted from the zip file already. If you're unsure what kind of file it is, just look for the small text beneath the file name. It will indicate the date, size, and file type. As you can see, this is an SVG image. 
You can now tap the file name and your image will upload to Cricut Design Space. Give your image a name, tap the down arrow at the bottom to hide the keyboard, then tap Save to save the image. The saved image appears in the upper left corner of your screen on your Android. Tap it and you'll see a green highlight appear around it to indicate that you've selected it. You'll also note that a small icon appears in the lower right to indicate that it is selected as well. Now just tap Insert to put this image on your canvas and begin working with it. And that's all there is to uploading an SVG cut file on your Android. Now how about how to upload files to Silhouette Studio? I know I have many readers and viewers who are using their, their Silhouette machines and I don't want to leave you out. Something really important to know about Silhouette Studio is that the free basic version does not allow uploading of SVG files. You need to upgrade to the designer version, which is what I'll be showing you in this video. If you don't want to upgrade, you can still upload DXF files, which I include with all of my projects. But for the best results, you're going to want to use the SVG files, which have more data and just generally work better in my opinion. All right, so here we are in Silhouette Studio. And I think the easiest way to upload an SVG file is to click on the open folder icon up there in the upper left hand corner and your file open window will come up and you select your SVG file. Again, you can choose DXF if you need to, but I recommend SVG again for the best results. So select that and click OK. And it just shows up right there, all ready to go. You may of course need to adjust it and we'll talk about that in our next video. I know many of my readers and viewers use shortcuts a lot, which works with many other cutting machines, including the Silhouette. It doesn't work with the Cricut, but it works with a whole lot of other ones. So let me show you how to upload in shortcuts a lot. I'm using version five. Now, the first thing you might be tempted to do is just click the open button over there in the upper left-hand corner. But if you do that, you'll see everything is grayed out and this isn't clearly what we need. Instead, cancel that and instead click on import. It actually says SVG right on that. So click that and open up the folder with the SVG and just click on open and it'll load right onto your canvas. Nice and easy and you can move around and you can customize it later. Of course, you can also drag and drop just like the other design software that we've looked at. So we just go on over to our file, click, hold, drag and drop it right onto your canvas. Easy peasy. Now I'm not going to talk about all the different design software. There's other things as well, like uh, the canvas workspace for our brother scan and cut. But I think that you're getting the idea here that it's really quite easy to bring in an SVG file, whether you're opening it, importing it or drag and dropping it. Okay, so now that you've learned how to upload nearly any SVG on nearly any device, let's spend a few minutes looking at what this process looks like in action through a short case study. So one of my readers, Jessica, wrote me back at the start of summer. She told me about how she had gotten a Cricut, did the starter project, and did a couple of easy projects in design space. But then she got stuck. When I asked her why, she said that she got her Cricut because she'd really wanted to make a bunch of giant paper flowers to decorate her daughter's room. I have one right here. Like this. But she just couldn't figure out how to do this. It seemed like it was beyond what was presented in design space. So I told her about the giant flowers that I designed and I told her how she could download the SVG and how she could upload it. And that was all she needed. She was off and running and has now made a dozen giant paper flowers for her daughter. And yes, her daughter thinks her mom is amazing and I think her mom is amazing too. So pretty awesome story, right? Okay, so let's do a quick review of what we've learned today. We learned how to find the SVG after you download it and how to decompress it when we need to, which is pretty much every time. We learned how to upload SVGs to our design software using a Mac, a PC, and an iPad or iPhone. And we learned how to add the uploaded file to our project space to actually make it. It's a lot of info, I know, so be sure to review your notes and try to take action right away. 
Go get yourself an SVG. I have over a hundred of them in my free resource library at jennifermaker.com and upload it right now. Speaking of taking action, before we go today, I want you to leave a comment right below this video and tell me about your experience uploading SVGs. Did this work for you? Do you have any tips for others? Let us know. And if you found this video useful, which I hope you did, please share it on Facebook, YouTube, or even by sending a friend a link to this page. In the next video, I am going to show you how exactly you can modify the SVG files in Cricut Design Space, including changing score lines and write lines. And I'm going to show you how to ungroup and show and hide so you can cut just the parts you want. If you are a Cricut owner, this is going to be a game changer for you. Speaking of finding amazing projects to make, I've also been getting a lot of questions about my Cut Above SVG design course. And I would love to see you in there. In the next video, I will tell you all about it and how you can enroll. The way this works is I open the full course to a limited number of students at a time, right? And although the course is intended to be self-paced, I do this so I can run the course similar to like a community college class because I am simultaneously designing SVG cut files to share with everyone. I want to be sure I have the time to serve all of my students and ensure their success. Thus, I will open up enrollment for a limited time in order to give myself the time and energy to fully focus on the incoming students. That's why our next session is going to be all about how to take the next step toward modifying and actually making all of these amazing, amazing projects that you've been finding. But for now, I want to leave you with this. Crafting beautiful things is nowhere near as hard as people make it out to be. All you really need to do is break the process down into simpler steps. I know you can do this and I am so excited to see what you're going to make. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time.